This is our tool for being able to work out what is the size of an angle. How far is it rotating? And that's why it's in the shape of a semicircle. Okay? Now, what I'd like you to do is to put it onto your piece of paper, onto your page, and I'd like you to actually just trace it really briefly. Okay? Trace out the, um, does anyone remember? What is this, um, what is this called? Yes, it's a protractor, right? Um, not to be confused with a pair of compasses, which are the pointy things, which you can make wider and smaller, uh, these things. This is a pair of compasses. By the way, it's not a compass. What's a compass? It's a, it's a yes, that one. Yeah, the compass is the thing you look at and you point it in a direction and it tells you which bearing you're on, north, south, east, west, okay? This is a pair of compasses in the same way that this is a pair of scissors, right? There are two of them there. So, pair of compasses, pair of scissors. What we're doing, I'd love you to draw with me once I get my thumb out of the scissors, is a protractor. Okay, now we're not going to, um, we're not going to draw the entire thing, but there are just a couple of features that I want to point out on it. You'll notice if you look closely at your protractor, uh, it, it marks out angles from zero if we have a look on the left hand side. So we might put that down, that's a pretty important number. And then if you start from the left hand side and go all the way over to the right, all the way around, it ends on what number? What number does it end on? 180, very good. That means if I had two protractors like this and laid them on top of one another, that then to go all the way around from the beginning all the way back to the start, what angle would I get? A yeah. circle. I would get a circle, and what size would it be? What number? Three, would I put it? 360. 360, very good. Ooh, that's my phone. Okay, so if I went all the way around and get 360, now it's an interesting story as to why we chose 360 seems like a bit of an unusual number. Why did we pick that as the number all the way around? We're going to talk about that in a little bit of time. I just want to um, have that number in your head. Okay. Now, because you've got zero over here, 180 in there, what's right in the middle? Do you see it there? What's right in the middle? Yeah, sure. It's 90. That's an important angle, so you want to um, probably write that in as well. And you can see, if you're measuring from left to right, okay, if I have, for instance, you don't need to draw this bit, but if I have an angle, and it's vertex, I want to place right in the middle there. One of its arms goes this way. And the other of its arms goes, say, oh, I don't know, let's just put it over here. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start from zero, and I'm going to read the numbers as they go up until I get to this one. Maybe this would be something like, I don't know, what would you guess? Like, I'm just, just an estimate. Yeah, or can you give, guess a number? What would you think that number is roughly? Yeah, really? Yeah. Oh, okay, now this is interesting, right? I'm gonna go with like kind of 120, because you can see, maybe a bit less. You can see I went from zero, I went all the way up to 90, and then I've gone a bit past that, haven't I? Haven't gone all the way to 180, but I'm definitely more than 90, so it's somewhere between there. Question? Does it matter which way the zero is on? Okay, so I'm, I'm so glad you asked that, because we're not quite finished drawing the features of this protractor, right? Do you notice, um, we've been starting from the left, so there's a zero there, and then it goes all the way around to 180 on the right. Okay? But if you look closely, you will see there's another set of numbers on the inside of the protractor. Do you notice that? Okay. So we call these the, um, the outer track, and there's an inner track. Now this bit's important to draw, so um, on the inside of this outline, would you draw for me this other track that goes on the inside of the protractor? Okay. Question, yes. Okay, now, so, so we'll, we'll talk about that. That's okay, everyone's got their own individual preferences. Now, I only started with the outside track because, well, it goes from left to right, and I usually read from left to right, okay? But, see where I put my right angle here, right? I've got one of these arms going off here to the left. What if my arm started over on this side, right? What if my arm was over here? Now here, if I, I'm going to put another angle in, let's say it was um, something like this. Okay. So an important thing, you're always putting that vertex, that important point, you're putting it right in the middle, putting her right in the middle. Okay. Now you can see for this blue angle, it's no good starting from this zero, is it, right? Like my angle doesn't have anything to do with this side. Everything's happening over here. So I want you to notice on the inner track, there is another number zero here. And then it goes all the way up to 90 again, and it has 180 
over the dam. Okay? So do not confuse which side, which side is going with which, right? The inside track starts with zero there. So that's where you have one of your arms. And then you measure up. I'm guessing that would be something like, I don't know, maybe 30 degrees or something like that. You have a look at um, how far you get, how, how big that angle looks like. So I guess in summary, and maybe you want to put this down underneath, right? The outer track, it's where the arm is going to the left, right? If the arm starts on the left, then you want the zero to be on the left, right? For the inner track, you do it the reverse. The inner track, and you can see it in blue there, is where my arm starts not on the left, but on the right. If my arm starts on the right, then I want zero on the right, because that's where I begin. Okay, does that make sense? All right, now, we're going to be doing a bit of measurement today. Um, an interesting thing is that most people say, oh, but, but I'm on a computer screen, or I've got a textbook, and won't it look different? Okay, so that's why I bought this with me. Um, I want you to get out your ruler. Um, if you don't have a straight edge, I can um, lend you some in a second. But I just want you to look at it for a moment. If, actually, can I borrow someone's ruler? Can I just borrow someone's ruler? Yeah, Rinesh. Yeah. yeah, that's perfect. That's excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I just need a bit of space. Now, uh, what I want you to imagine is that Rinesh and I are um, sitting next to each other, right? And we are both trying to measure a particular angle, okay? Now, Rinesh might be looking at his uh, laptop or something like that, and his angle might be, say, this big. Okay? So, in his textbook, on his computer, on the screen, thank you, Rinesh, that's for you. That's how big the size of his angle is, okay? But me, you might be able to tell, my eyesight is not the greatest, okay? So I've like, on my screen, I've zoomed in really, really far. And so my angle doesn't look like that. My angle looks like this. And, okay, stay, there we go. Okay, now, here's the cool and interesting thing, right? Angles, think back to our first lesson yesterday on this, right? Angles are measuring the size of, measuring the size of what? What are they measuring the size of? Like, yeah. Brightness, noise, Okay, so it is, it is to do with, and you can sort of see it with your hands, right? When you draw the arc in, it's like this part here, or this part here, okay? But an important thing is, like these angles, like, are actually about the size of the turn, or the size of the rotation. Okay, so if I took a small ruler, actually, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna use the big ruler. And I rotate it a little bit, right? I rotate my big ruler by the same amount to make this angle, okay? So even though this angle looks enormous, right? It's bigger in centimeters, right? But it's exactly the same size in degrees. So you can zoom in or out of all the diagrams that you're looking at on your screen and you will still get the same angle size. I guess you would use whatever size is appropriate for your protractor. Okay, and I think your protractor should fit on your screen pretty easily. 